Hey, I'm Ted. Welcome to day three of uh, a week in real time of schoolie conversion. It uh, hasn't been super productive today. It's uh, like almost two o'clock, I think, on Wednesday. And I'm just kind of getting out here. Had to do some real job stuff this morning. And uh, well, I had to get a kayaking run into. It was kind of a short one, but still had to get out there because the water's hot. And now we're doing some sposing on the bus. And it uh, seems like it's one of those days where every time I turn around to say, I'm going to do this. And there's a reason why I, I can't do that yet. So uh, I'm a bit at a, a bit of at a loss, and I'm hoping to make some sort of progress. But I'll show you what I mean. So for reasons I'll talk about uh, in a video upcoming, uh, chose to go with stranded wire for the electrical, both with the 120 and with the 12 volt system. And uh, it's supposed to be run in conduit, and so I kind of want to do. My goal is to do it the right way as much as I can. And the challenge, you know, in a normal house, if this is regular wiring, you could just sort of fish the wire right through this back of the stud, drill a hole, and then run it all the way through. But the conduit doesn't really bend that way. I, I can't get it around in there. And so now we're faced with the problem is that, you know, when you go to put the sheathing up with the plywood, you need something to, to nail to. See that? Like right this, so I can't as easily just sort of bend it around there unless it's going to be exposed in the closet which isn't a, the worst thing in the world. I suppose I can do that. But you have to figure out where you make the transition behind stuff that's covered up and stuff that's not. So, um, so that's the next thing I would cover. I could plywood this, but at the same time, I need to drill a hole or cut a hole in the side of the bus to run the power supply through. And I haven't got the power supply yet. So I can't really, I could cover up this one, I suppose, but I can't cover up that one. And I can't cover up that one, and I can't cover up those yet because I haven't cut the holes in the bus. So that's kind of holding me back. The other thing I have to figure out is where um, I can run, you know, how I'm going to actually loop and route the wires. Because technically I'm not supposed to run the 12 volt and the 120 volt wires through the same conduit. I think in some places it might not be that big of a deal because they're such short runs. It's not like it's, you know, 50 feet. It's 8 feet or 5 feet. And it's not like the circuits are being used all the time. And even the 12 volt draw, you know, it's a couple, you know, three watt lights, LED lights that are gonna, gonna pull a lot of power. So I don't think it's gonna be a major issue, but again, like I said, I'm trying to do it as right as I can as a possibility. So that's kind of holding me up as I try to figure that stuff out. The other challenge is that crash, boom, wow. Running in conduit as much as I can, I can barely see, is that I can't, I don't really want to drill holes and run conduit through that rib. That's a huge hole to go through that rib, and I'm worried about it weakening the integrity of it. So I need to run it down the sides and up. So for example, I can, this is a great spot, Chase, to run conduit down through where I can run it down and then run the wire up to the lights here so I don't have to go through. But what it means is, is every junction you're supposed to have a box. And it's pretty limited space here. I can fit one of these boxes in that way. And actually that would go pretty well. And I may be able to run conduit in this side, conduit out that way, and then maybe something through the top where I can get that wire out. There's not a ton of room there. Run the wire up there. Of course, these boxes have a knockout on the bottom, but no knockouts on the other side. And so, and then wire can't really fit into the back. So, I have to find some, uh, go get some different boxes, I guess, because I can't really drill because they have all that stuff in there. I can't really drill that out and access the wiring nut. So, um, I can get some regular boxes, I guess, and drill holes in them. Um, I don't know if they, um, I have a metal box. Like this, it's got knockouts on both sides, but it's about six and a half miles long. If I stick it up in there, it's like, I'll knock off people on the other side. That's no good. So I'm, I'm thwarted, I'm thwarted on all sides by these things that I'm trying to accomplish here on day three of real time. But uh, I imagine most schoolie converters run into these issues, I guess. Maybe I'm just wicked special. I don't, I don't know. Um, but that's that's kind of what I'm dealing with today. So a lot of sposing, a lot of 
Hmm. Going on. All right, so I found with myself that sometimes if I start feeling stuck and have a hard time moving in directions, then I just pick a direction and do something, and then I can gather some momentum. Uh, kind of that uh, fire ready aim thing that kind of works for me sometimes. So I'm going to put one of those pieces of plywood in the back of the closet, the one I don't have to cut any holes in. At least I'll get some momentum there. So I made a very fancy drawing there of all these fancy cuts. and. I got some uh, other scraps here, and rather than trying to do it all in one big piece, too, I might as well use up some of the smaller pieces. It's going to be in the back of the closet and won't see it much. and be a lot easier wrestling around. So, we're going to try that. to go get Julie so I abandoned electrical stuff for a while. Now I'm back. Then we're gonna finish bolting down the seat because the other bolts are too short. Let's get this done. Okay. There may have been some cursing in this project multiple times. Fingers crossed that we'll have success this time through. You under there? Alright, uh, the back one, I think. Yeah, that one right there. It's windy. Get a couple more cranks on it. I'm in it tightly. Helping. Oh, I'm helping. Are you helping? It feels tight. All right, let me put my wrench back on. Go for it. Why is it spinning? today. You got a wrench on it? I would have blissfully forgot. Hold on, you stay. reason this thread's different. Hi, good girl. Come be on the camera again. Come be on the camera again. Yes, you are very helpful. You are so helpful. Oh, I needed doggy kisses. Yes, I did. I got a wrench on it. I can hear you twisting things, but I don't feel it. Hub. 
I think you're on it right there. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I had to go pick up Julie at work, so I ended up picking up some of these electrical boxes. Uh, they're metal, and everything else has been PVC. I'm not sure how copacetic that is to mix the two, but at this point I couldn't really find anything else that was going to work, and it's only going to only be 12 volts that goes through there, so I think it's going to be all right. But it fits up there pretty well, so I can run conduit in one side, conduit out the other side, Put a face plate, drill a hole in that, run the conduit up there, and that'll be about as secure as I can get. So, but it's late now, so really not one of those more productive days. There's a lot of thinking and exposing going along, and then problem solving, and even trying to get the bolts in on the on the, getting the chair back in was uh, more difficult than it should have been. There are very few things as simple projects it seems like. Uh, I don't know if this is. I think probably. Be interested to know are you other schoolie builders out there. Is this kind of the way it goes sometimes? Um, I'm wondering if it's just me, but for anybody else watching, uh, check the comments below. If this is typical, you have one of those days, put them in there because I think it's one of those realism things that we kind of need to expect. So uh, today's Wednesday, uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with uh, day four, and hopefully we'll be a little bit more productive. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Give us encouragement. Uh, let us know what we're doing wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always open to feedback. And uh, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.